Mr. Jack Snail versus a uh, Coyote. And uh, we're going with the classic, you know, Sonora K rule. Three, two, one, go! I need some help with the uh, stream. I need some help with stream. I can't. Uh, I can't get the score to just stay 0 0. Uh, I didn't do that. Oh, wait. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Can I update it to restart the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. I have a technical difficulty, but we're kicking it back. Yeah, so we got uh, Snail versus K. Rule, uh, specifically Coyote's K. Rule. Um, yeah, we're on Kyle Field. Uh, Snail already opened up a pretty nice uh, whole stock lead. Um, trying to trying to interrupt the up B with the counter, but not able to get that. Ooh, Coyote tries to get the roll in, but unfortunately misses that. Yeah, Snail doing a really good job of, uh, you know, reading his, like, uh, ledge options and, you know, kind of sensing that he's a little scared, trying to get back on stage fast and getting a lot of damage off of it. And finally going to get the grab. Back throw does get the kill. I don't know about that DI for Coyote. And already out of a two-stock deficit Snail, uh, you know, it's a really tough spot to be in, but, yeah. Able to get the berry confirmed. Um, you know, too high percent to mash out of that. But it was kind of a risky move in between stocks, and it's gonna be 33% for that. Yeah, Coyote just eating a lot of damage. You know, you don't want to give um, Incineroar revenge. And now it's kind of just a question of how is how is Snail gonna secure this last kill? It's kind of inevitable, and just opts to keep pummeling. I don't even think we saw a single mash from Coyote. Oh, nice little uh, confirm, but Catcopter gonna interrupt all that stuff. And Snail getting a little too caught up. And now he's on last stock versus a full rage K rule. Could it happen? Okay, well, you know. Whatever. Um, that's one way to take a game. But as expected, uh, you know, Snell takes game one. Um, pretty convincing until he was throwing for content. Um, but, you know, that's what we do here, I guess. And it's just kind of tough to, you know, play a, a character like that because, you know, Snell's so patient. Just such a good punish game. Um, you know, any mistake you make, he's going to get a lot of damage, especially against K. Rule. And just kind of piled up. But here we go. Going over to game two, staying Kyle Field. Yeah, and, you know, Coyote just jumping around, just kind of, you know, begging to get up aired. And Snail just looking so clinical. Gets a nice F throw in the dash tag. But gets reversal by the Nair. He's gonna find a way on stage, goes for the jump, and gets caught by a down tilt, and that's just a free stock for Snail. Just triple up there gonna do it, and it's just getting worse and worse for Coyote. He's kind of just running in. Um, you know, Incineroar kind of invalidates the uh, you know, the cannonball crown meta. Just because you can revenge all that and just close stock so fast. And yeah, we're we're starting to see Snail run away with this one. Let's see what he goes for the edge guard. Nice tech from Coyote, but still in a bad situation with an Incineroar with a lot of revenge. Oh, that's gonna be a free punish. Back throw, not, oh, still gonna do it. Yeah, it's probably the second time we've seen a maybe improperly DI'd back throw. All right, nice snare. Goes for the kind of a really hard tech read, but you know, doesn't really do anything with the jab lock. And now we're seeing the up airs again. 
Oh yeah, a little too predictable. Gonna get revenge, and now we're probably one big hit away from sealing this for Snail. But nice, nice down smash gets tech uh, tech roll. I think Coyote's doing a lot better at you know landing with these nares, but you know with such a sizable lead for uh, Snail, it's looking like this might be a quick to a. Oh wow, great stuff. Revenges the uppy into the fair and snail pretty clinical takes uh takes that set 2-0.